It was my first class doing this. So I just kind of went with the flow. But um, something that I would say is break it down into modules um, according to the material that you want us to review for that week, for that month, um, for that day. Because the first time that I took the class, the professor just loaded the entire book and I literally sat there like 30 minutes clicking to chapter 15. Um, so at that time, uh, she did, wasn't aware that she could break it into modules, but as I kept on taking the classes, the other professors that I took, the other two professors, did break it into modules, and they also loaded at the, um, like for week one, they uploaded the entire book, um, but they also broke it down into modules. So when it came to midterms or finals, um, we can go to the beginning of the, of the course and just uh, search. So whenever we needed to study, we could just search and it would pull up whatever uh, page it, the information that we needed for the question that we had, um, which was helpful for me. Uh, something that I wanted to add to a previous question is in regards to time with the OER material. Because time is such of an essence for us as moms and for me as a single mom, I don't wanna go through a textbook for 20 minutes to find something that I already highlighted but I didn't write all my notes and then I can't find it. So for me, I need to study for two hours, three hours in the middle of the night and going back through the book to just find something that I can't find is very difficult. So now what I can do is just go onto my material, search what I, my, the question that I have and then it'll pop up which helps me study and makes my study time more productive. Putting in interactive tools with the OER is great. I had the opportunity to take macro and microeconomics, so with the um, reading of the chapters, um, towards the end they would offer like practice questions to see if you've actually retained the information. So that kind of helped prep me for the end of the week quizzes. Um, also, well, actually, that's really it, just the interactive. It helps us engage more in reality, so. Yeah, the only advice I would have to faculty is to tailor it to the different learning styles, uh, visually, auditory, kinesthetic, if possible. I had a stats professor that used Excel, um, since that was the most affordable for all of us, to try to get us to understand the concept uh, by typing it out and just seeing uh, what would happen as we typed it in and what would happen on screen. So I thought that was uh, pretty cool. If, well, I've had a great experience thus far with OER. If I had to give one piece of advice to professors who use it, I, I'd probably encourage them to maybe add a voice uh, to the material that you provide. Um, by hearing how passionate you are about the subject you're teaching, um, it, it goes a long way. Um, it's, as we've all mentioned, it, it can be very engaging and um, it just makes the, the class even more fun. And, and enjoyable to, to hear you. And you know, you get a lot of students, hundreds and thousands of students each semester. We get one of you in our lifetime. You know, so Aww. it's something <laughs> 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 it's something to think about. <laughs>